Hey y'all, it's Regis from the morrismansionblog.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the final installment in a series I'll just call Let's Make Over My Daughter's Room. Um, it's mostly finished and it, I, I cannot tell you guys how much I love it. It's come together in the most precious way and I'm going to walk you through all of the DIYs we've done over the past several weeks um, and just show you how I've decorated it with all of her special things and just you'll see how sweet it is. So we first started out with a blank slate. All of the walls were still this modern gray that was um, in a flat finish and that's the same it was when we moved in. And I am so glad I finally painted most of that out of here. And I'm so glad that that is now covered up with this beautiful rose colored paint. Um, this is called Rose Bisque from Benjamin Moore. And the first big DIY I did in here was to just paint the walls. You'd be amazed at the power of paint and how it can so easily transform your space with just a gallon of paint. It's also one of the cheapest ways. And I used um, a rag and some water to give it this textured look to make it more look like plastered walls than just painting it on with a roller. It still would be a beautiful color even if you did want to paint it on with a roller, but I just wanted to add a little bit more texture. Let's go over to the bed area. That is the next big thing I did was add a bed canopy. Um, I really think this made her bed. It made it look very stately and regal and it is absolutely gorgeous. She loved it. She told me, mommy, it's perfect when I showed it to her. I love the layers and the colors together, the combination of the blue with the pink, with the soft, roses on the little gauzy white material. I think it layers together beautifully and it's just enough of a height to draw your eye upward with these tall ceilings but not to um, dwarf the bed or just make it too much. I think it's just enough little bit of elegance to um, add something to that wall that really wasn't that expensive. I added a frame to this thrifted rose picture. It had um, the perfect little rose in a really nice shade of pink with greens and blues and uh, just the perfect colors on this thrifted um, picture. And then I built a little frame for it and spray painted it gold. I also spray painted this little sconce that I got from Amazon and then I thrifted a flower shaped um, glass globe for it. Her vanity, I just cleared this off and then I added a new thrifted stool um, that I found this week underneath. It's the perfect height and it was already pink and it's so sweet and she saw it and was like, oh, is that for my room? She absolutely loved it. And then finally, the last project that I did was this fireplace. The only thing that I ended up adding was feet. I think it needed to be uh, grounded instead of floating on the baseboard. And all I did was to nail a six by six um, or a one by six that I think I cut to about just a little bit wider than uh, one by eight. I think I made them nine inches in total. And so they have a little bit um, of overhang on either side and it creates the illusion um, without me having to uh, rip off the baseboard, which if you saw the last video was not coming off. <laughs> Uh, this cutie little bench is from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still have them, but that's where I got it from. My sister-in-law actually has the same one. The last thing to do in this room will be to conquer the ceiling. I know exactly what I want to do, but it's going to cost a little bit to um, cover the ceiling and to add some curl molding and to get a new light. So 
We're going to do all of that in a later video. So without further ado, here is my daughter's room. Before we get to the final result, let's take a look back at where this room started so that we can appreciate how far it's come. I hope that you liked coming along with me on this journey to um, thrifty DIYs and uh, fun tutorials and just making a little girl very happy with her new and sweet room. I'm absolutely obsessed and um, I hope you love it as much as she and I do. And uh, let me know what you think down below. And uh, as always, thank you so much for stopping by the mansion and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.